hi guys welcome to another video uh, in this video i'm gonna show you how you can build a ai chatbot using the google gemini api in rapidbot so uh, in last video last month i posted a um, video regarding the gemini uh, api testing and all uh, our backend team is currently working on it it's not yet available at the moment uh, when the native integration is soon available, this process will be really easy and uh, it will be quite, uh, won't be that complex and it will be very easy to set it up. Uh, so in this video, I will gonna show you how you can set it up from scratch. Uh, it will be a little complex, like I mean, but I will try to explain uh, uh, at the very easiest way I could. If you have any doubts or something, you can reach out to a support team. So first thing you need to do is go to ai.google.dev. So here uh, you will get this option get API key in Google AI Studio. So click on it. It will take you to the uh, marketsuite.google.com. Uh, so here I own since I already have an account I already have created. Go to the API key click on create api key you will get an api key created save that api key but in uh, in when we work on the chatbot integration we will need that api key so uh, i already have it here you can see uh, so i already have it uh, so uh, in this video i'm gonna show you the embeddings uh, structured formatted way you can set it up uh, uh, if you are planning to build an faq based chatbot this will be a really good use case so uh, click on the create new uh, you can find this structured format option if you click on it uh, so at the moment uh, okay i already have saved that so here you can rename your uh, this particular uh, data set then you will have like in this structured format at the moment uh, you can only have up to 500 uh, embedding it's similar to open ai embedding so 500 examples only you can add so input and output so if you have uh, this uh, data saved in a google sheet or something you can directly import from your google account uh, if the same account you're using you can directly import import it or you can directly type and uh, you can directly feed the information or you can want you can export as uh, like this format input output you can uh, f uh, export into a csv file or google sheet and directly you can add the data from your google google sheet so i'm not gonna do it because i already have everything set it up so when you do you can do it uh, so I have the input and output so basic example only only 10 uh, prompts or 10, 10 uh, data uh, only available so what you can do is once you set it up everything accordingly or if you feel like uh, everything is according to your need all the questions and answers you already have uh, you can click on the get code so click on it you will find all the options we are going with the curl URL which is the first option here you can find the uh, API request endpoint that you want to make. It should be a POST request. This is a uh, URL for the endpoint for making the API call. And uh, the content type, application, everything is already here. So uh, just copy this information. If you are uh, in the chatbot, uh, just build. I have built a basic flow here first thing we will have a question block the question block uh, will uh, will have the question how may i help you whatever the user is typing this information will but by default it will be saved in our system variable which is called last test input you don't need to directly map into a variable or anything so the next thing we can make an external request which you can find it in our action block click on it and in advanced option you will have this option external request so uh, if you click on add your request here post you can uh, provide that an uh, endpoint url and uh, in the header you can provide um, content type application json and you can set it up so uh, the next thing you need to do is copy this content whatever in the data no just copy the entire uh, entire data just like that copy it and paste it on the response uh, sorry body uh, row json just paste it exactly like that how you are getting it 
so uh, let me show you here is an uh, example i have the body here you can see the body type body content it's json uh, i have the entire data i copy pasted so the last option you can see um, if you click uh, uh, curl url you can see the last input and output is empty so just keep it as it is leave it like that in the input section uh, here you can add the variable last test input which you can click on this uh, sidebar uh, if you are uh, like this if you put it on the sidebar uh, one second you will uh, get this option where you can type for your variable last test input so once it is done uh, you can save it at the moment you cannot preview you cannot preview this entire prompt inside the test body because we have a character limitation at the moment which is exceeding the limit what what we have given but this will run in the uh, live uh, preview it will run it but directly you can't preview it because of that limitation so if you want to add some instruction something like that you want to provide what you have to do is just copy any of this block just copy and paste it once again for the input test so let's format it once again yeah so in the input now if you can uh, want to give some instruction that you can uh, give it directly so for example if somebody types something not relevant to rapid bot or to your business uh, so how you want to respond that uh, you can have it i already have the prompt here see here he can see the uh, response is already if the user has something not relevant to rapid bot will play with the generic message so i already have it i'm just gonna delete it i just showed you an example or uh, an extra instruction if you want to give you can do it like that so uh, once you've done everything just click on the save button and uh, map uh, like uh, uh, at the moment i think uh, I, I, when you're doing doing it for the first time just copy this entire part paste it here or i mean even though if you're not copying it so like for example uh, you don't need to do that uh, just click on the test button for a second even though our test block is empty you will get a response back so go to the part uh, copy this like just map this uh, json path this is a json path just map this into a variable like for now i created a variable if you don't have a variable you can directly create it here so click on this button and click a variable and uh, click on the add button so we need to map the response from the uh, ai model uh, so uh, then click on the save button and uh, again uh, open another question block you can uh, we want to display it so just display that variable here you can see we're displaying the response so that we can see it uh, let's do a test run so that uh, we can test it out inside the chatbot i'm previewing this uh, the flow that which i have created here let's wait for it to load actually uh, yeah now let's ask what is uh, rapid bot something like that let's go with the first question so it was pretty fast uh, rapid bot is a knockout builder like uh, whatever instruction key given it's coming up uh, let's see if it is can respond that yeah uh, it can answer that also because we have added that uh, also uh, we have this option is there let's go with uh, this question yeah uh, so it is it won't take much time it is creating the response as soon as possible let's try one more question so that also we getting response so basically uh, this is how you need to manually set it up uh, but once it is done uh, it is quite faster and it will uh, you can auto bind your customer support or faq uh, using this model using this way
so let's see something i'm randomly typing something else it's not even relevant let's see how it will how it can handle this uh so uh, okay uh, it's it can understand it so it makes sure that it's it is not giving anything else um Uh, let's see I'm just checking um, giving another uh, prompt let's see how it will respond so uh, currently it is comparing this with many chat I mean it's saying that uh, it what are the benefit like I mean this uh, AI whatever embeddings that you provide it knows what exactly all the details about your business based on that it creates a quick response and gives a comparative uh, study based on that so this is this is one of the best model uh, one of the best embedding model that uh, Gemini API has uh, as compared to GPT-4 it create quick uh, first responses and which is also pretty cool and it's also can handle complex level of prompts and testing i mean you can also try implementing it in, in, in your business and test it out at the moment we are doing some testing where our integration is under development at the moment uh, then you can this this part will be very easy to implement at the moment you need to do a couple of work but uh, the end output will be really amazing so this is i hope this tutorial video help you guys to test it out and uh, if you have any questions or any kind of problem or anywhere you're getting stuck feel free to reach out to our support team or you can comment below the video uh, so we will uh, get back to you as soon as possible thank you